Hey people, it's me again. So, anyways, um, one of the things that I want to talk about here was this story that Tim Pole had to cover on here. And this one story was also was making its rounds on Reddit, as far as one of the, the subreddits I think was Atheism, and I think it was the other one might have been the news subreddit were... This one teacher who was fired for not using proper pronouns when it comes to this transgender student and is now suing the school district because of that termination. So, as far as that goes, the article on there was a bit kind of dicey as far as what Tim Pole had ascertain at this point that they already established that the person is trans and is using he him his pronouns as far as that goes and it's not using they them pronouns and all that and and I find that a little bit ridiculous when it comes to that you know and for the most part as I kind of said before it's just that you know most trans people don't really get upset over using those uh, pronouns if they earn the right of that usage of those sort of pronouns. The difference when it comes to that, you know, like the trans trenders that I had talked about on previous videos at that point, they're the ones that demand use of certain pronouns when it's like they them pronouns or or noun self type pronouns or whatever it is and which is basically insequential illogical to certain people at that point you know and it was one of the things that uh one of the other people that i watched that had talked about this sort of stuff there that they're trying to demand change of language that is just very in, imprinted as far as that goes when you learn certain languages of that sort. You know what I mean? So, anyways, um, as I was kind of saying about this sort of stuff is that I'm probably going to take that kind of stance that like Tim Pole and this other person, that, I forgot what was her name again, you know, but she also had made that sort of thing there that if she earned, if these people earned their respect, they'll use the proper pronouns, you know. But if they don't, you know, earn that kind of respect, then they're not going to use those kind of proper pronouns as far as that goes. You know what I mean? I mean, as I kind of said before, when I had talked about uh, certain people that I know that were transgender, I have already had used the proper pronouns to describe them. As far as I go, it's like, like one of my friends at one time, you know, was, is a trans male. And so I basically use he, him pronouns. And then that one person uh, that was known as Tattoo Skin 72 that I had started using she, her pronouns as far as that goes. You know what I mean? And in, in some ways, like the case with Blair White, you know, who she already had transitioned there, I already used the proper pronouns anyways. In the same way with, um, what's his name? Uh, Matt B, I think. You know, that, that one YouTuber that I had also subscribed to that had just finished... transitioning as far as that goes you know he had already gotten like top surgery and as far as like three or four years ago that he was beginning the transitioning and all of that you know what I mean so as far as how I say this sort of thing here is that considering that 
I think as soon as the whole trans trender thing dies out, you know, as far as all these people who claim to be non-binary and, um, and, but don't actually care to actually physically transition and whatnot, and their reasons of gender dysphoria or whatever is not necessarily actually gender dysphoria of that sort, you know, then I would probably, what, I mean, then it's like, then people will have more acceptance towards trans people in general because of that. And I think that is really what it is, that a lot of people who are trans have such issues when it comes to trans trenders, you know, of that sort. And in considering all of that, you know, when it came to a, a lot of other people who are trans, you know, that, that when they, that they automatically use the proper pronouns when clearly they're showing that they're, that they transition in the way, you know, as far as that goes. I, I keep forgetting that one trans woman's name. I think her name is Danica Patrick or whatever it was, you know. And where she had also talked about Milo Stewart at one point. And then how she detests all these uh, people like Milo Stewart or Riley J. Dennis of that sort. Using the term true scum as far as just to put down people who are trans, actually transition, actually have gender dysphoria, as far as that goes. But I think when you start to look at this issue when it comes to transgender, as far as that goes, the whole thing is very dicey when you look at it. Because then there's also people who simply wanted to have a piece of that kind of acceptance, uniqueness, or whatever it is that they don't really deserve, you know, and that they're appropriating struggles who actually fought hard to get where they are as far as that goes. I mean, that is pretty much one of the reasons why I have such... A disdain for the trans trainer types because of two of my two of my friends there, you know, as well as Blair White, Matt Matt C, and Danica Patrick or whatever her name was, you know, and because they they fought so hard having this debilitating condition as far as that goes. And then having that struggle appropriated just as a fashion trend, just so certain people could make themselves look unique, cool, edgy, or whatever, is just disgusting when you look at it at that point. Yeah. But at the same time, when you see, like, on the other side of the coin of that, you know, when it comes to, like, conservatives, they're also just as equally dismissive as far as that goes, because they still think of gender dysphoria as a mental disorder of that sort, when it's really just a mental condition of that sort, you yeah. know? And then how they're dismissive of that and this sort of thing. But at the same time, when, you, when it came to, like, stories about, like, James Younger and then any of the other kind of kids that are in that similar position, it's also just as disturbing because they're going to end up having some form of, like, reverse gender dysphoria because of 
parents who cannot accept the fact that their child is born uh, that sort of gender as far as that goes just as much as it was like the other way around and that is basically what is really disturbing about all that you know what I mean but I feel that this is just the the beginning of more acceptance when it comes to people who are transgender in some form or another you know considering like the whole thing when it comes to people that are non-binary or or gender queer there's like different distinctions of it because there are there are some that do identify themselves as as non-binary gender queer that may actually be trans as far as that goes but don't know what their gender identity and or expression is at that point and in the same vein trans trainers are also appropriating that kind of struggles when it comes to people who are questioning their gender identity and or expression at that point you know what i mean as far as that goes but the other part of this sort of uh story here as i said before that the biggest problem when it comes to trans trenders is also trying to force change of of what is language is that that point there and a lot of times when it comes to certain um words or when if it's an english language or whatever you know there's always like some some stipulating parts when it comes to that you know what i mean i mean for example when it comes to other languages you know that that are kind of gendered there is such sort of stipulation that makes it be be uh gender neutral of that sort you know what i mean especially when it comes to like the word like in spanish like los niños you know like children it still would be like children regardless of whether there's males or females of that sort you know you know what i mean and in in other languages gender is not really a thing at that point and like in, in mandarin it's like he she in i think it's also it is still like the same word it's like da but it's all written differently and like they is still like da men and it's still like written the same way as far as that goes you know and others it's just simply that there's like things that are just masculine or feminine regardless of that and there are others that are just masculine and feminine or neutral gender of that sort whether it's in german or russian or polish or other kind of languages are like that you know but i just find it a little bit strange when when people are trying to redefine language or redefine certain things just to suit their narrative of that sort and i think that is really what it is when it comes to the issue at large of that sort because considering when it comes to like people on the right they're still trying to hold on to the idea that being trans is still a mental disorder and people like that should be locked up or whatever it is and then there are people on the other side of the coin who want to eliminate 
everything that is considered gendered and then have everybody become gender neutral for whatever reason it is, you know, and I just find that it, it's just really stupid when you look at it at that point. So, anyways, um, I guess that's probably it until next time.